Yo, what's up guys? Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget. And today we're gonna try some food from Thailand. So we got ourselves another Universal Yums box. These things are amazing. I'm super excited to get in here and try this. If you guys want more information on what Universal Yums is and all that good stuff, check the description or wait till the end of the video. So Thailand, what do we got in this box? Alright, it is overflowing of stuff. We got, don't even know how to say this, but it says prawn crackers, chili flavor, something like that. Uh, this next thing's got a tomato on it. I have no idea what it says. It's in a different language for realsies. Tomato flavored cracker. These are like blown up like crazy. Little farm garlic bread, interesting. Then we got some uh, Thai tea drink with cream and sugar. It looks like a little Kool-Aid pack. Then we've got coated peanut spicy sesame flavor. That looks kind of gross, not gonna lie. We've got these little Thingamabooties United coffee candy, more coffee candy. Uh, we've got Glendy coconut chips, which actually look pretty freaking amazing. Pandan cake, which looks kind of gross, not gonna lie. Big roll grilled seaweed roll looks pretty gross, not gonna lie there. Uh, no idea what this says. Pocky, matcha green tea flavor, interesting. Then we've got uh, Tom Yum flavored pretz, looks pretty freaking solid. Got these pink things, have no idea what they say at all. And last but not least, Amira Osta something majigger, Ameridi something candy, artificial flavor, sweet. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen one of these videos before, I basically try each of these, rate them out of 10, kind of tell you how I think they taste and all this good stuff. Um, and if you guys want to see more videos like this from like Britain, Taiwan, Brazil, all this great stuff, Norwegian, got all these other great foods and videos just like this and they're pretty freaking funny. So you should check the description and watch those videos. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, fashion food uh, tomato flavored cracker thing. These are probably going to explode. No, I think we're good. Now, I'm not a fan of tomatoes, like, at all, so I'm probably going to hate these things, but let's give it a whirl here. So, I only need to eat one to tell you a little bit about this. Tomato soup in a bag. I'm not really a fan of tomato soup, so this makes it a little bit awkward. I like the texture. It's a nice little cracker. I really don't like tomatoes or tomato soup. So I'm going to give it like a 4, but it's probably pretty good to most of you. Next up, we're going to try these Tom Yum flavored pretz, and I freaking love pretzels, so hopefully these don't taste like absolute poop. Smell, smell interesting. They're pretzels, but they're flavored with something, so here we go. No. Nope. No. Oh, now it's a little spicy. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Can't even tell you what it tastes like. It's like a spicy and sour and there's some lime in there. And it does not fit on a pretzel. I will tell you that. I'd have to give that one like a three or four as well. I'm just not digging that taste at all. And hopefully the rest of these foods are way better. We're going to do this uh, pandan cake. And it honestly, the texture of it makes me maybe want to vomit just feeling it through. The oh, yeah. It it's very squishy. The inside is like green. I'm probably not going to like it at all. Smells kind of weird. Oh, I really don't want to bite into this, but I gotta do it. Wow. It's actually like not bad. It's really, really, really soft. It's literally like a mini cake, and I can't even tell you what the inside is. I think it's like that's the pandan thing, and I don't know what that is, but it's actually like not bad. And it just melts in your mouth and it's pretty sugary, so I kind of like I'll give it a six on a good day. Alright, so we're getting a little better now. I'm gonna go for these uh these, these green tea pocky things. Very, very interesting case here. It's almost like a little cigarette like casing. I don't really know. Green tea flavored, so I'm kind of excited for that. I do like tea. These look extremely, extremely weird, and it kind of reminds me of something that I had um in my Taiwan box a couple a uh, couple couple months ago. We're gonna give this bad boy a try here. Kind of like it. Kind of like it. I can see myself just eating these things forever. They have a very unique taste. We don't have a lot of green tea stuff in America. Like, of course, we have the green tea drinks, but we don't have anything like green tea flavored, like, yum yums. You know what I'm saying? Not bad. I mean, I can see myself snack on these bad boys. Probably like a six or a seven. All right, we're diving into the coated peanut spicy sesame flavor. Oh, boys, this is going to be a little bit scary. Explosion. Oh, we're good. I'm probably going to absolutely hate these things. One word, interesting. Little bit of like sesame spice to it. We don't have anything that tastes like this either in America. 
which is kind of interesting. I'm not a huge peanut fan, but I do eat them when I'm super, super hungry. They're not bad. Uh, they're literally just meh. Like a five on a bad day and a five on a good day. They're just meh. All right, let's roll into this Hanami Prawn Crackers Hot Chili Flavor Thingamabooty. Oh, they smell terrible. They are super, super, super light. And I love this texture. Like, it just crunches. Like, just looks like a fungian crunch, but, like, harder. Overall, not a bad snack, because I love the texture of it. I honestly just want to keep eating them because of that crunchiness. Um, don't really like the taste a ton, but it's actually not bad. So I give it, like, a six or a seven. All right, let's roll into this uh, Shanghai Strawberry Cream Wafer thingamabooty. Ooh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. It is so good. So good. Strawberry cream wafer heavenliness in your mouth. Easy nine, pushing 10, baby. We're gonna roll through this little farm of garlic bread uh, thingy. Whoa, it's kind of messy. I do like garlic bread though, so I'm kind of excited for this. Let's give this guy a little whirl. That is super strong tasting. Holy cow. All right, so imagine yourself at Olive Garden. You're just chilling. You're eating your freaking spaghetti. All of a sudden, the waitress brings you some uh, some nice garlic bread, and you're like, oh, I love garlic bread. Take a nice bite of that. Boom. Pause. Freeze frame. You got yourselves that garlic taste in your taste buds. Now, just imagine that you're sitting on the couch, and you just ate a cracker. That's basically what this is. It's a cracker form of a really good garlic bread. Although this is super, super strong. No wonder they're only, they're small and you only get two of them. Because they are super, 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 super strong. I like garlic bread, but I don't like it that much. So I'm going to give these guys a six. But it's kind of a five just because it's so, so, so strong. Okay, we're going to annihilate this Amira um, little candy guy here. Now these ones always scare me because I never know whether to like, chew them or just suck on them forever. But here we go. Whoa. This like almost shocked my taste buds the second I put it in my mouth, but it is really, really good. Like it's honestly, I, I can't even tell you what it tastes like. It's just a type of fruit kind of style taste, but it's like so perfectly mixed between sweet and sour. You just want to keep, keep sucking on it. Sour enough to get your taste buds excited and sweet enough to keep them entertained. I should be on like a professional like food tasting show. Anyway, it's really, really good. I'll give it an 8. Next up, and I'm super scared for this one, is the grilled seaweed roll. Oh, man, I'm just not a seaweed fan. I don't think this is going to be good at all. I'm scared. No, literally what it says. It's grilled seaweed. You can taste the grilledness of it, and it tastes like seaweed, and I don't like seaweed. I'm not a fan at all. I'll give it a three. You know what, scratch that. I'll give it a four just because I like anything that's grilled. Next up, we're going to go with this United Coffee Candy. We had one of these last week in um, in the previous box that we had, and it was just, it was, it was. Just... Ah! Sorry about that. I guess you guys can all blame Steve. Whatever, let's try this guy. Yeah, very, very, very dark coffee in a candy form. And like I said, I'm not a big coffee fan. For anyone that likes coffee, that'd be like a 7 or 8 on your list. On my list, it's about a 4 because I'm not a big coffee fan. So last up, we've got these coconut chips. And um, I'm not going to actually do the Thai tea, tea drink on camera. You guys can follow me on Twitter at I'm a Flying Midget. When I make it and try it, I'll definitely tweet about it and let you guys know. It is a bonus item, and I want to actually enjoy it. And this would take a lot of water to do and a lot of time to do. So um, I'm just going to wait on it. But let's get into these coconut chips. And I've been saving this to the end because I think they're going to be really, really good. And please don't let me down. They smell amazing. They smell like Samoas, like Girl Scout cookies. Let's give these guys a little whirl. So they taste good. They're almost like not even chips, though. They're, they don't even like crunch. They just kind of like bend, and then they eventually dissolve in your mouth. And I'm a huge fan of coconut, so I really like these. They could have been way better. I feel like the idea for coconut chips was totally there, and it was a great idea, but the execution was just... Uh, a little bit off. All in all though, they're still really good. I give them a seven or an eight. All right guys, well that is gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna get yourself one of these Universal Yums box, check the description below. There's a link, you can go check out their website. It's like 15 bucks to get yourself a box. 
super cheap. You get to try food from around the world every single month, and it's honestly an amazing service. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys go get yourself a Universal Yums box. I love trying these things. I love bringing these videos to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you guys leave a comment down below on which item you think would be your favorite. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion, and if you do get yourself one of these boxes, make sure you let me know on Twitter, or if you guys are making your own videos, tweet them at me. I'd love to see your reactions. But again, that is going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, and if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe.